G'day, I'm Ash, and welcome to one of the last videos of 2020, and I just want to make this uh, abundantly clear. Today's video is going to be about some of the rarest vehicles you can find in War Thunder, but we'll get into that in a moment. I just want to address uh, a few people. Now, I'd hope to get to 30,000 subscribers this year, however, I don't know that I'll make it, but it's okay. You know, goals are there and expectations are set. That's being said, I've had an absolutely fantastic year. And for those of you who like, comment and subscribe and, and do all those funny things and support me in the comment section or not, you know, you're helping grow a community that is fantastic. And I'm ever grateful to a lot of you, including some of you who are on my Discord and to the many of you that follow me on Twitter and all the other places. I, I, I can't say that you guys have made 2020 a better year for me, and I hope in return that I've made some content that inspires you. So from the bottom of my heart, and I don't want to sound teary-eyed, but thank you very much. It's been one hell of a year. So from my family to yours, Merry Christmas, and if I don't see you by the new year, Happy New Year as well, and Happy Holidays to everybody. <laughs> that being said though, let's get on to the content of today's video. This is the Gladiator Mark II F. Now, the premise of today's video is essentially going to be focused around some of the aircraft that are hidden, or some of the vehicles that you can't get. Now, I already have some of these vehicles in my garage, and this is actually a use mission. You can actually download and install to your hangar. It'll show you some of the vehicles you don't have, and there's a full list of those. I'll leave a link in the description down below to that, and how to install it. It's like a custom hangar, but with a mission that allows you to access some of these hidden vehicles. And I thought it'd make fantastic content, considering at the end, end of the year, I've taken up enough of your time already, but this is the Gladiator Mark II. If we're starting off with Britain this time, and it's a rank one British fighter with a battle rating of 1.3. Now, it used to be a part of Britain's reserve aircraft before it and the Gladiator Mark II S, another event vehicle, were removed and replaced by the Fury and the Nimrod. Now, this was available in the open beta test prior to update 1.27. Now, I arrived in 1.21, so that's prior to 2013. And as you can see, X ray standard. Gladiator, there isn't really anything special about it, apart from the fact that it's got this wonderful gold camouflage. There, it's basically stock standard. Essentially, this is just a exact copy of a Gladiator, which would be fantastic to see as an event vehicle later down the line. The next aircraft on the roster is the D520, which is a rank two British fighter with a battle rating of 2.7 in realistic battles. The aircraft has been in the game, according to the War Thunder wiki, since update 1.29, and unfortunately it is not available for purchase anymore, due to the fact that this thing, I guess, is a French aircraft, and we've already got a French tech tree. Now there is another version of this, which I do own, it's a D521, but again, it's a very similar aircraft, the only difference is a Vichy Air Force camouflage and a higher definition cockpit. It is stock standard the same as D520, so you've got your 7.5mm guns, and your one 20mm 404 Hispano in the nose with 60 rounds. Uh, not exactly the greatest reward, you know, top speed isn't exactly fantastic, uh, and it just really struggles in some capacity, but it is a fun aircraft nonetheless. I thought I'd also show you the D521, which is another derivative of this same aircraft, exactly the same stats, but I actually own this said vehicle. Now, there could be more British aircraft that I actually own, but I haven't discovered that considering I must own them already. Anyway, moving on to Italy, this is the RE2000 GA Red 5. It's a Turkish, basically RE2000, a rank 2, but a rating 2.0. It's got 12.7 Breda machine guns, top speed of 525 kilometers an hour, and it doesn't have a wiki page at all. Wait for that to load up. There it goes. It does have an entry, but that is basically it in terms of information. Could we see this as an event aircraft? Looking at the X-ray briefly, and we'll go to have a look at the modifications because it does show a Golden Eagle price. Again, exactly the same as an RE2000. Not much to say here. It does come with 100-pound bombs or uh, smaller bombs if you really want to. But as you can see up here, 850 Golden Birds. Very, very interesting. Maybe one day we'll see this as an event vehicle. Ah, God, what is that? Oh, that is a Chinese French aircraft. Yep, this is actually the D510C. Rank 1, better rating 1.3. A French monoplane armed with a 20mm cannon and a 7.5mm machine gun times 2 with 600 rounds. Does do a top speed of 394 kilometers an hour and does have a 3mm armored plate. And as you can see by the x ray, there it is. There's fuel tanks, wing spar, pilot, all the things you need. 
But again, interesting stuff. Now, is there any information on this thing? Let's have a look. And despite there being a lack of information on this aircraft as a whole, and there's no wiki entry for it, the modifications do tell us something particularly interesting. Yep, stock standard D510C, however, it is 400 Golden Eagles and is Chinese. Anyway, on to the next Chinese aircraft. Unsurprisingly, A6M5 is also something that the Chinese get. Rank 3 battle rating 4.3 with two 12mm uh, Model 2 Type 99 guns and a 7.7mm machine guns. There's no armor protection. The X-ray is basically a zero. There is not much to say here. So that's from the fact that the Chinese tree already has a zero. It's the A6M2, not the A6M5. So whether or not this will be an interesting addition or whether this will be a vent vehicle, let's take a look at the modifications real quick and we'll see if we can find out. And uh, there we go. 1750 Golden Eagles. Apparently that thing is going to be worth. Also interesting to note, the reward rate is the same as the Japanese premium A6M5 as well. And gets the same bomb load out of 250 kilogram bomb or 260 kilogram bombs. Other than that, same exactly as an A6M5. I'm a little perplexed as why P2359 appears in the files yet isn't activated in the game. The reason being is, well, it's it's got required RP 54,000. Now it is a rank three, but I'm running 4.7. It's got two turrets, a bunch of other machine guns and so on and so forth. It is exactly the same as a regular PE2 except with Chinese markings. You're noticing a pattern here. Get your Fab 500s, your 250s, your 250s and 100s, and then you can get your RS-132s, uh, etc, etc. But again, there is no information stating that it is an event vehicle, no GIF vehicle. It just says required research points, 54,000. So as to why this isn't in the game, it's a little perplexing, but there you go. Another PE2, I suppose. Moving on to Russia, this is the Year 2 M105TAT-BT. Although there is no BT in the name, I presume that these aircraft are basically the same. Essentially, it's a gift rank 2 Soviet bomber with a battle rating of 4.7 or 4.0 in RB. And it was initially in the game pre-1.37 and was removed upon update 1.37 due to being identical performance-wise to the Year 2 M105. And yeah, it's really just a long-range bomber that kind of is a bit useless. But then again, I don't know why they removed aircraft. There is no point to it. They should just fold aircraft like normal. But moving on to possibly one of the rarest vehicles in the game, the LAG-323. Essentially, this was given out as prior to the open beta test of 1.27 and is one of the rarest vehicles in the game in War Thunder's history and that has only been given out four times. Now I know a few people that have this thing, it's a rank one but a running 2.3, it's got a 20 mm Chevette cannon with 150 rounds and a 12.7. Max speed is 583 and is comparable to the i301 except I think the i301 is a bit better and is another one of those vehicles. Now, I will admit I have no idea what this aircraft is. The PE-2205, it's a rank 3 battle rating 4.0, and it was available for purchase prior to the update 1.29. Unfortunately, the vehicle is unavailable to players who want to purchase it. It was taken off the Gaussian store after the clearance sale in November 2016, and has since become a hidden from the store. As far as I can find, this vehicle has only been available for 1,500 Golden Eagles, and it's only been on sale once, so there you go. Everyone loves a PO2. This is the Night Witch's PO2, rank 1, buttering 1.0. It's got a crew of 2, max speed of 115 kilometers an hour. However, that doesn't necessarily matter at all, because this thing was used primarily as an event vehicle. This was an addition in 2016, I believe, for the Halloween event, where you could also earn a PO2, as well as some pump and some unique decals but there is no modifications it is just a weirdly looking very satisfying yellow and and very striking pumpkin flavored po2 so there you go with two jack-o-lanterns on the wings obtaining this aircraft might be a little challenging too as it is a tu2 which is a rank 3 battle running 4.0 and if i load up the wikipedia page here it should tell me that yep Again, this is a closed beta air for people who, I guess, played before 2013. Again, 20mm Chevette cannons and three 12.7mm turrets with a career 4, max speed of 504 kilometers an hour. Should be pretty fantastic. Other than that, quickly look at the stat card. There you go, there's all the details. I'll leave you to pause it there. I'm not going to read out this. There is too many aircraft to cover in this short amount of time. Now, this aircraft is quite interesting. It technically should be a cargo aircraft slash paratrooper aircraft, and this is the Leipzig 2, or it's the Russian version of the DC-3, or the DC-2. 
It's got three gunner positions, one dorsal turret and two waste gunners on left and right hand side. There is no landing gear for this thing, as you can see, it's a very, very old model. But already 1.0, for some reason my hangar is bugged and I can't see the internals of this thing, but I presume that it'd be pretty ugly considering it doesn't have a gear. So that's an interesting aircraft, maybe we could see this in War Thunder soon, maybe, I don't know. Now, Germany is a bit of a mixed bag. I already own most of the German event vehicles as is, as you can see by the 109E7. Now, let's show me my tech tree here. Some of them might include the Collins CR-42, which again is an Italian biplane. Also, the Italian aircraft in general uh, that were before the Italian tech tree. The H-51 with floats, there's also a, well, the Hydro-51, that's fantastic as well. It's probably also a heap of other aircraft like maybe the BF-109Z and possibly the Romanian HS-129 which somehow has disappeared from my tech tree. Anyway, there is probably a heap of other aircraft but we're going to have to have a bit of a fiddle around and see what we can see. Also, there might be the 262 and also the Event uh, 162 as well. Germany also gets an interesting Junkers Ju-52. Now, it's about rating 1.0, it's got a crew of 1. There is no armor protection for the vehicle. The X-ray is a bit iffy at most, and the modifications crashes your game, so I'm not necessarily going to open that one. But as you can see, the landing gear is a bit backwards. Now, I know there were versions which had more gunners and more gun slots, like a dorsal turret behind the cockpit. But so far, two waist gunners and a rear isn't too bad. I'd love to see this thing actually in the game. Although it is, but also isn't, as you can see. And uh, there is a quick look at the X-Ray. What a fantastic little machine. And what a workhorse with four double wing spars and a bunch of fuel tanks. Last but not least for Germany is the HE-162A1. Essentially what you're getting is a HE-162, which is exactly the same stats, but replace the 20mm 151s with MK-108 30mm guns. Now, this is available essentially as you had to be the top eight in the one versus one victory tournaments or the five versus five victory tournaments in update 1.73 Viva la France. Now, it is a unique jet in the game and that's really all. It's really just focused on the armament. I'd love to get this thing. It does sell on the Gaussian marketplace, but again, that's about it here. Unfortunately for Japan, I already own most of the event aircraft, or at least the rare aircraft that they do actually possess. This is the Kai 21-1 High. Now, I don't own the Weeb Copter, as you can see in the background, but I thought I'd show you this thing because it comes up on a list anyway. Essentially, it's a rank 1 gift Japanese medium bomber with a battle rating of 1.7 in RB, and it was introduced in update 1.65, Way of the Samurai, during the 2016 winter holiday event. And as you can see, it's just a regular Kai-21 with a fancy camouflage. Now, the other aircraft which you can see is the Kai-10-2C, also known as the first helicopter in War Thunder. It's unique because it has this camouflage and was removed essentially from regular tech tree due to having similar statistics to one of the other Kai-10s. Another one of the aircraft that could be considered rare is the J-6K-1. Essentially, it is an air superiority fighter. However, it was introduced in... Patch 1.95 Northern Wind is a part of the main pilot reward for the 2019 winter event Operation Frost. It's got six 20mm cannons and then there's also this thing, the Kai-94-2. And I believe you can't get this one on the marketplace like the previous aircraft. This was introduced in update 1.69 at the Operation Summer event in 2017. So there you go. Again, got 30mm guns as well as some 20s. It's fantastic. I love this machine so much. But yeah, there's not really a whole lot for Japan. America gets two P-47s, although they're both premiums and I don't own them, so therefore they don't necessarily count. And they're not event vehicles either. I do own the Filipino P-26A1, so that is also a rare vehicle which you can't obtain anymore. There is also the P-40C, which again is a vehicle you can't get anymore apparently. Ranked 2 but running 2.7 as you can see by the stat card there. Now back when War Thunder was actually an esports ready game, the P-51 Alpha was a reward vehicle for buying some dog tags, and this thing is a rather unique vehicle. Ranked 2 battle ring 3.0 with 12.7 M2s, not bad. Now I should also mention that I own the A26C45, which was the first winter or summer event I can't necessarily remember, but it is a rank 4 battle ring 5.3, and it's got a bunch of ordnance. Moving swiftly on, this is an Israeli AH-64A, this is a pattern. Now, 
Battle rating 10.3, does have 70mm hydros and a 30mm turret with a crew of 2, max speed of 300 kilometers an hour. And as you can see, it's got two camouflages. I think the second one is quite good. But it doesn't necessarily say what it is. It is a pack vehicle. Vehicle and is obtained by purchasing a special pack. And having a look at the modifications, it does get flares. It does get uh, AGM 114s. So that's going to be interesting. Now, let's go into those. Yeah, you get the AGM 114 Hellfires, times 16. Or you could go for the AIM 92 Stingers, times 4 as well. There you go. An Israeli premium or should I say reward vehicle? Who knows at this current time? Moving on, America does get an F4U-4B VMF-214. Now, it is a, unfortunately a console exclusive. To which console? Exactly. It is a gift rank for naval fighter, which was up well introduced in update 1.79 Project X and is an Xbox exclusive, which is disappointing, but as you can see, it's an utter gorgeous Corsair with four tournament cannons, stock standard Corsair loadout, and oh my goodness, this would be a fantastic event vehicle here. It does get four 250-pound bombs, two 500-pound bombs. You can also have uh, two 1,000s or eight HVAR rockets. So there you go, as well as a uh, standard loadout of everything else. And it's just disappointing that I can't get my hands on this fantastic vehicle, because I would. With a top speed of nearly 700 kilometers an hour, I certainly would want to pick this one up, if you could. Speaking of console exclusives, this is just for the PlayStation 4, the A26C 45DT. Now, the only difference between this A26 and the one that I showed you that I actually own is this thing has HVAR rockets, and everything else is practically the same with the two turrets of 12.7s, the offensive armament of eight 12.7s, and then a whole host of other bomb and other various loadouts. So again, the HVARs are really the only difference here, at least from what I can tell. Rank 4, battle rating 5.3. Apparently what also shows up is the XP-38G, which the YP-38 is now its replacement, which you no longer can get. This was for the Pacific campaign. Another vehicle, the XP-50, which again, <laughs> it's a pretty interesting one in its own right, deserves its own video. And then the XF-5F, which was one of the first Christmas reward event vehicles that was given out by War Thunder itself. There's also the Rasmus P-36A, which is a Steam gift vehicle which you can purchase currently. But again, it's unique for some reason. Moving on to France. Now, France has three event vehicles, or at least three rare exclusive vehicles that you can't necessarily get a hold of. This is one of them, the Super Mystere B2, but not any Super Mystere. This is the YouTube Cup 2019 camouflage, and yes, it is a separate vehicle. There is one content creator that owns this particular aircraft, and that is the Orange Doom. Uh, he won this as part of being as the winning team, and there was a whole selection of vehicles, which you'll probably see when I cover the tanks later down the line. Now, there's also another aircraft, the NC-900. Essentially, this is the Focke-Wulf of well, for France. There is also another single aircraft as well, the MB-152, I believe. Where is it? There it is. And these are all the vehicles that you can possibly find that are rare or exclusive. Now, there are quite a few of other vehicles which I haven't discovered yet. So, at this current time, this list is about as complete as it can get. Again, I'll link the resources down below. And yes, there will be a follow-up video with some tanks for you to also look at. And I'll be covering the Operation Winter vehicles in a separate video uh, coming up soon on the channel. And with that, this will probably be the last video before Christmas. I sincerely hope you have a fantastic New Year's and holiday. I don't know if I'm going to upload any more videos, but I hope you understand that you guys mean the world to me, and I appreciate everything that you have done. Here's to the New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that good stuff. I love your faces. I hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Ash, and I, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, eh? bye bye